The rules for short term rentals have changed in Kansas City. Now, the city council recently approved some new rules after months of pushback from residents. Fox Force Kevin Barry joins us. He's been looking into how these new rules are going over around town. Yeah, Kevin? we've been hearing some from some of those frustrated community members who started realizing that short term rentals like Airbnb or Verbo are popping up sometimes right next door. They hope these new rules will start to keep those rentals in check. The rental companies tell me they go too far. Andra Aglidis noticed short-term rentals had come to her Brookside Park neighborhood first because of her car. I did notice there is more of an issue with parking on our block, so we only have parking on one side available, and um, suddenly it became more difficult to park in front. When she looked closer to see which were operating without a permit, Andra and her neighbors became even more frustrated. I would say they've been operating illegally for several months. They're just trying to f fly under the radar for a while. Their concerns and similar ones in other parts of Kansas City eventually led to new rules, changing how these short-term rentals are governed. One of the biggest changes is the ban on short-term rentals in residential neighborhoods where the owner doesn't live there. The ones already licensed can stay, but new ones won't be allowed in. The Neighborhood Services Department will oversee the process now, not city planning anymore. And owners will pay a $200 registration fee that will increase annually based on the consumer price index. We're glad that the neighborhoods are getting some relief and that the issue is being addressed. Um, but we're disappointed to see a ban go into effect. Kristen Doppelt runs Cozy and KC, which operates 70 properly licensed short-term rentals on both sides of the state line, and she leads the Kansas City Short-Term Rental Alliance. She says these residential listings are about 90% of her business because demand for them is so high. Right here in Westport, you're able to walk to a lot of the local businesses, a lot of the bars, and that's what guests are coming to Kansas City to do. So another important change is that the Neighborhood Services Department is going to oversee enforcement. Andrew, Andrew says they're much better suited to figure out what would work best in different parts of town.